Sopranos, whose first episode aired 22 years ago on January 10th, 1999, is a show that is still considered to be one of the best crime dramas ever created. The show basically revolves around Tony Soprano, who's an Italian-American mafia head in New Jersey, and his relationships with his family, crew, and so on. In this video, we're going to be going over the relationship that Tony had with Christopher Moltisanti, his nephew, who was one of the main characters of the show, and what led to its absolutely horrid ending. We're talking about Tony killing Christopher, even when he could have saved him. Even though their relationship didn't end well, it was surely one of the most touching aspects of the early seasons. You could tell without a grain of doubt in your heart that Tony truly loved Christopher, and that Christopher saw Tony as his father figure. This is supported by the fact that Tony's world was turned completely upside down when Christopher was shot in season 2. However, we all know that all good things come to an end, and so does this relationship. The downfall of this relationship began when Christopher's heroin addiction reached a point where intervention became necessary. This and many other things like Christopher taking Adriana's dog's life and him coming to Tony's mother's funeral high left no choice for Christopher than to join rehab, and so he did. Eventually, he came out a changed man, wanting something more and better in life, and that did not sit well with Tony. He could not see someone changing for the better because he himself had failed miserably in doing so over the years. It can be argued that if Tony had made some extra effort towards Christopher, then he might not have relapsed. Christopher believed that Tony was sleeping with Adriana. In Season 5, Episode 5, Tony and Adriana get in a car crash, and this leads everyone, including Chris, to believe that they're sleeping together. Even though it's not true, Christopher was enraged and went on to make an attempt at taking Tony's life. If someone else did this, they would have faced the wrath of Tony Soprano. But they both worked things out and even went on a double date, which was a testament to everyone that there is nothing but love between them. However, that was not the end of it for Christopher, because he went on to produce a film about an assassin who takes revenge on his boss for sleeping with his fiance. This clearly indicates that Christopher holds a grudge against Tony and still believes that there is some truth to Tony and Adriana sleeping together. Tony kills Adriana. When Christopher found out that Adriana was an informant for the FBI, he had two choices. Either he could join the witness protection program and live a life away from the mob, or tell Tony about it. I know that most of us expected that Christopher would choose the former because, at the time, he was tired of how the crew treated him. But to our surprise, he decided to tell Tony about it. Well, then Tony sent out Silvio to murder Adriana, which was something that was bound to happen. After the big sacrifice that he's just made, one would assume that Christopher would have been given more respect, but instead, he is now being suspected of becoming a snitch himself. And on top of that, the humiliation that he has to face over addiction has gotten even worse. All this combined played a massive role in Christopher's relapse in season 6, because he knew in the back of his head that he had given away the only woman that had ever truly loved him, and that there is nothing in the whole wide world that he can do to change that. Tony had changed. The Tony that we knew in the beginning would have never taken the life of Christopher. However, Tony had changed into someone who only cared about himself, and would do anything that served his interests. We can easily come to the conclusion that this was the worst that Tony had ever been, because even before killing Christopher, his gambling addiction was going completely out of control. He also gets in one of the most brutal fights with his wife, and much, much more. What truly makes us see the pure evil that Tony has become is the fact that when people come and console him, he seems simply annoyed by it. Tony has reached a point where even a psychopathic murderer like Polly seems like a better human being than him. Tony even comes clean to his psychiatrist, Jennifer Milfi, in a dream that he is glad about Christopher's death and says, You know what? This is bullshit. I have not been able to tell anyone this. I am relieved. A weak, sniveling, lying drug addict. The biggest blunder of my life is now gone. This is an indication of what Tony believed to be true in real life. Christopher should have left. Christopher had been given many chances to move away from the workings of the mob without having to face any consequences. 
whether it be Tony telling him that he would have to leave if he wanted to pursue a career in Hollywood, or when Adriana presented him with the opportunity to join the Witness Protection Program of the FBI. That being said, there were plenty of times when Christopher was given a way out, but he never took them because he wasn't willing to leave the Mafia world that he had always known behind. How could poor Christopher have known that he would share the same fate as many of those associated with Tony Soprano have before? The Scene Where Christopher Dies Junior, a man that Tony respected, had told Tony many years ago that when a dog gets rabies, you put it down, implying that it was in everyone's best interest to kill Christopher. It seems like Tony finally decided that it was time to accept that advice. One night, when Christopher was driving Tony back from a meeting with the Shah of Iran, Christopher took his eyes off the road and crossed into the other lane in which there was a car coming in from the opposite direction. In an attempt to avoid an accident, Christopher made a hard turn, to which the car swerved off the road and crashed. Luckily for Tony, he was wearing a seatbelt, and unfortunately, Christopher was not because of which he was very badly hurt. Christopher pleaded with Tony to help him and revealed to him that he would not pass the drug test and lose his license. At this moment, Tony sees the baby seat in the back with a tree branch through it. Maybe the camera was panning there to show that Tony's addiction was not a menace to himself, but also the people that are close to him. Tony realizes that because it could have very possibly been Christopher's daughter in that seat. Tony gets out of the car, and in an attempt to save Christopher, who is gushing out blood from his mouth at this point, dials 911, but does not call them because he sees this as an excellent opportunity to get rid of his prodigy, who has been nothing but an utter disappointment his entire life. Tony ends up suffocating Christopher by pinching his nose until his soul leaves his body. No one ever found out that it was Tony who had killed Christopher, and Tony had added another name to the list of close associates like Tony B and Pussy that he had killed. With that, we come to the end of our video, and we're certain that you have some of your own views on the topic. Make sure to let us know about them in the comment section below. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Do leave a like and subscribe for more content. Till next time.